front where it says aims real big. Hey everyone, welcome to Northeast Pennsylvania and welcome to the Lakeshore Museum here. Check these out. We got some old engines here. We have a lot of old cars around here. We even have a Dash 8 for NS I want to see. Now, time is limited because it's getting towards the end of the day and they'll be closing this place soon enough. And I want to enjoy my time getting to check this place out. Now, with that said though, we did have some time to go and get some photos on these trains, so I'll show you that at the end of the video. But we have a bunch of trains on their way, and I want to catch them and bring them to you. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll take a look at these engines real quick as well.
1090. <laughs> Yeah, look at that beast. An AC6000 for Union Pacific. General Electric. You know, at first glance, when I first looked at it, I thought it was possibly a uh, Tier 4. But I was inside of the cab. And it was really cool being up in there. You'll see pictures of me in the uh, engineer's seat at the end of the video. But now we're going to go climb aboard the Chessie system here. And as a matter of fact, I am going to show you up in here real quick. As well as that old Dash 8. I can't wait to get up in there. I haven't seen these on the rails in years. So, anyway, let's go ahead and do it. It's going to be a little challenging to do this one-handed, but I think we can do it all right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ugh. Look at that. Let's go inside this old beauty here. Dash B30. This is an oldie. Look at that CSX. As you know, Chessie system was purchased by CSX. You can get out the door over here on this side. Take a look at that. Very cool. Here's the old controls for this thing. Look at that. Old school. Anyway, I'm going to get a couple of pictures done, and then we're going to go into that Dash 8. Oh, somebody broke the glass there. All right, let's go check this out now. Old Dash 8 for NS. Before they reconfigured the noses on these engines for GE, this is what it looked like. Small windows. A little, I would say it would probably be easier to see out of this, but... Maybe not so much the case. Now all the chairs are facing that way, facing the back. Kind of curious about that. But they do turn around, unless I break them, and they will face the front way. But this is what it looked like. Then you go down in here, I believe that's where your toilet is, is in there. Gross. And it's NS, so we know they, they like to keep their engines filthy, so. But the Historical Society has done a great job to bring these back. Keep them in great shape. Given how old this thing is, too. Here are your controls. Engineer facing that way. I guess if you unlock the chair, you can spin it. I like that it has the NS logo on that. That's pretty cool. Yep. Can't play with that one. Some of them you can. They'll let you uh, move them. But this one, I guess not. 
very cool though. And there's your air conditioner there, AC temp 65, or you can put it up to 75. That's it, and it's leaking. Oh, that ain't good. Okay, well we did that. Very cool to be in this old engine. Let's go take a walk out the side here. Close quarters, that's for sure. Ouch. Painful, too. <laughs> that's cool to be up here on this old gem. And you're allowed to be up here. They, they allow you to come up here when they're open. Obviously, when they're closed for the day or for the week, don't. But you can come up here and check out these engines. Very cool. Very cool to see the chassis system, especially after just seeing the new Heritage unit for CSX. Speaking of CSX, there's a look at the uh, Norfolk Southern Dash 8, by the way. But speaking of CSX, they actually have one down here. Very cool. And they are doing work, so I'm trying to stay out of their way. But it's very nice of them to let us on here. And actually, the one gentleman working here at the museum follows my channel. How about that? He even asked me when I showed up, not filming anything abandoned today? I said, what? <laughs> he said, not filming anything abandoned today? I said, no, I came out to catch some trains and was surprised, pleasantly surprised to see that you guys were open and wanted to check it out. And he said, well, welcome. And well, here we are. Look at this old gem. Wow, these windows are hurting on it. wonder if we can go up in there. We could try at least. Don't know if we'll have any luck, but we could at least try. Look how short the nose is on that thing too. Wow. Well, I've climbed up here, but it is locked, unfortunately. We cannot go inside. Seems to be in a little bit of rougher shape than the other engines, so they probably don't want people going in here. CSX shares. Yeah, these windshields unfortunately took a beating. Don't know if it was from kids being dumb or if a storm hit and it was hail, it's possible, but considering it's just a couple of windows, I bet you it was kids doing things they shouldn't have been doing, unfortunately. This is what I want to check out, the old Conrail caboose here. Guess it's a caboose. It's like a little office car. That's a caboose. We'll go up on this one first. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Anyway, step up in here. Oh, yeah. Good old Pennsylvania Railroad style caboose. PRR. A sauna in the summertime. Really, really well intact, too, for the age. Now, I know we've checked out the one at Galitzin, which is built just about identical to this. Not quite, but very close. But this is cool. I want to go check out the Conroe one. Hey, look at that. A Fred. <laughs> Now, we have to climb down to get over, so we'll go down here. Go ahead and do that real quick. All right, let's go and rail it up. Grew up seeing Big Blue on the tracks. Yeah, look at this. There's another Fred, older one. Much different style caboose here. Penn Central, yikes. And if you want to read that, just pause the video and you can do so. The stove, little sink, cool little caboose, I like it. Got a seat by that window, check out that way, one by this one. Check out this way, big platform out here too. Very cool. 
All right, everyone, at this point, I ended the video when I did, simply because we were starting to run out of time to enjoy ourselves at the Lakeshore Railway Museum. We wanted to be able to walk around a little bit and check out the museum itself and just enjoy ourselves until they closed. Now, when we were in there, admission was free, but they do rely on donations, and they use that to make improvements to the place and whatnot, and a suggested donation is $5 per person. And since Mary and I went, I obviously put a 10 in their box. So, anyway, if you ever happen to go up to Northeast PA, I know it's a weird name for a town because it's actually in northwestern Pennsylvania. It's in the northeast corner of Erie County, just about on the New York-Pennsylvania border, right off of U.S. Route 20 and minutes off of Interstate 90, right in the historic town of Northeast. Now, after I had wrapped up the video, I had realized that I was on their live stream that they have on YouTube. They have 24-7 live stream footage going west and east. They have two different cameras watching the tracks. So you can watch the trains from the comfort of your home right up there at the museum itself. And I happened to make the camera, and I thought just for fun, I would put that footage here at the end of the video for you to enjoy. And then you'll be able to see the pictures of me and the engines and on the GE 6002. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe if you would like to. And I'll see you next time. Take care and stay awesome, everybody. Bye-bye.
Bye.